Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here in Billy Nelson's gym. Well, his friend's gym. No, his friend's gym right now um, in Glasgow. Delighted to be joined by Lewis Crocker. Um, coming off a great win against uh, Jose Felix, but you've been on a nice wee holiday. You've got some downtime, and this is your first session back. I made a, it was at Vegas, so I did after the fight. Um, as I said, I fought December and then January, so I feel refreshed. I mean, it's like, it probably the, the best I felt at the start of camp. You know, I feel fresh, I like no injuries and stuff. Like after my kind of fight, like my hands are pretty beat up. I mean, I went into that fight and the training and stuff, and just I think it took a lot of my body, so it did. So um, it's good to get a break, and uh, yeah, banging all night. Start of camp, so, uh, I'm feeling good. Feeling good, mate. Like I said, quick succession that Tyron McKenna fight and that Jose Felix fight is testament to you just staying in the gym. And if we look at like fighters, if I go back to Saudi, like Joe Parker and Anthony Joshua, they're staying in the gym, they're fighting regular, and it's, it's beneficial for you to stay in there consistent in the gym. And it's be, it best fruits because obviously you've had two solid wins back to back in December and January. January there, back in the gym now, hoping for another big fight, I believe. Yeah, mate, uh, hopefully, you know, May, June time, um, we'll see what happens. Like, nothing's been confirmed as such yet, but, um, yeah, I think May, June time, uh, uh, a huge fight, actually. So, um, as I say, um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling full of confidence after them last three wins, mate. I feel great already. Um, so, whoever, whoever it is put in front of me, i for a rough night. Speak to me about the Jose Felix fight. I mean, I watched it, and, uh, like, your, your power. It's clear that you, you carry a lot of power in both hands, it seems, but... To do that to a tough Mexican guy in Jose Felix, and we've seen his last out against Gary Cully, and that he, he's got power in both hands as well, but you managed to sort of walk him down, and you said that you are a Mexican-style fighter, and uh, you showed that as well. Yeah, definitely, and I've even got, like, I remember you said the last, uh, I was talking the last time about the, the Mexicans, if you beat a Mexican stuff, like, the support you and stuff, and, like, I actually have got a lot of, a lot of support, which, which is class, and, um, yeah, you know, I'm a grassroots fighter, like, I come to fight each and every time, and I think that's what the general public want to see. And yeah, so the class is a, a, such a Mexican fighter, it's, it's good to hear. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be more of that going forward. Obviously right now that welterweight division, again, I spoke to you last time out and I mentioned the welterweight division being sort of like that marquee division uh, throughout the years with the Sugar Ray Leonard's, the Manny Pacquiao's, the Floyd Mayweather's, the Terence Crawford's, the Earl Spence's, always been that division which has always carried a household name. And it's a dangerous division to, to be in, do you know what I mean? Because there is a lot, a lot of dangerous fighters in that division. But for you right now, when you're looking at this calendar year and the way you're carrying on, I mean, knocking all these guys out and putting on big performances, um, are you hoping for some sort of top five, maybe top ten in the world in your next fight to obviously push you up them rankings? For sure. It's a world-ranked opponent anyway who we've got in mind. Um, so beat him, get his ranking. And, you know, like I, I'm aiming for like a world title eliminator by the end of the year. And I, I don't think it's, it's, it's beyond me that, that, I, that I can't get it as well. So um, I say, like, with, with Billy, I've only been here a year and look at the, the progress that I've had. So by this time next year, you know, who, who knows what the position I'll be in. Um, but yeah, some tasty, tasty fights. I wouldn't mind getting one <clears throat> on one of them Saudi Arabia cards, you know what I mean? The, yeah, the MP days look alright to do, so <laughs> hopefully they're coming soon as well. Listen, you keep doing what you're doing. Love big knockouts out in Saudi Arabia, so they do. And uh, listen, you keep doing what you're doing. No doubt you'll probably get an opportunity out there. But you mentioned a world rank opponent now. You're going to take his ranking. You're going to tell me to piss off, probably. But uh, can you give us a hint on who you're talking about? I can't, mate. <laughs> I can't, mate, because like, nothing's confirmed, do you know what I mean? But like, it's a world ranked opponent anyway. And yeah, that's it. So I'll take his ranking and his belt. Obviously, Terence Crawford uh, holds all the belts down at your division right now, and it's going to be open, I think. I think this division might be wide open come six months' time. I think uh, there's talk about Crawford fighting Chris Eubank Jr. out in, in July time. Um, if he does that, I doubt that it will be at 147. It probably will be at 154 or 160, who knows? Um, so then belts might all become vacant. You need that world ranking to get your shot at these world titles. Have you fought that far, far ahead in terms of this division being blown wide open when uh, Terence Crawford vacates and your opportunity coming maybe tail end of the year beginning of 2025 for sure like I, I don't know if I see Crawford actually fighting 147 again especially on next anyway I've seen like a, something about him and Tazu mm -hmm. as well there was like a bit of back and forth so I think Crawford's did all he really ha or can undisputed do you know what I mean he, he beat the biggest fight in boxing was him and Earl Spence so I think like him getting the monetaries here and there I think he's the one that chased for more greatness do you know what I mean I think Light middle, um, super welter, winning world titles at that weight. I think that's sort of his his next his next phase. So I can't see the belts becoming vacant, and you know that, and that's it. And like by the end of the year, I should be 
and each of the four organisations um, remaining undefeated, all being well. So yeah, absolutely. Um, I really could see Crawford via Keaton all, and, and hopefully uh, I'll get my shot one day soon. You mentioned Saudi Arabia and getting a fight out there now. Did you watch the fight at the weekend there with Josh Ngannou? And I know you're a heavy-handed man. You love big knockouts yourself. But when you see another heavy-handed guy in Joshua knocking out somebody the size of Ngannou, I mean, what was your thoughts when you saw that happen? It was great. It was great for boxing to be fair because the whole fury and Ngannou thing last time, you know, the MMA community like blew up. And like I'm a big MMA fan as well, but I think they got a little too far ahead of themselves, you know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and then oh, it was it was beautiful. The when they finished up at the end, the dip right hand, it, it was beautiful. Like, and Joshua's looked like, fantastic his last couple of fights as well. So it was good to good to see um, and get the job done as well. You've been here a year now, and you've obviously trained alongside another big heavy, Martin Bacoli. Um You've seen that guy fight before. You've seen you've been you're in the gym with him. You see him hit the bag and the pads and that. What kind of damage can he do in this heavyweight division? Because the heavyweight division's back. The most avoided heavyweight on the planet. You know, I can see why. I mean, he's hit the bag already, knocked it off, <laughs> knocked it off the wall. Let me see if I get it. Yeah. It's coming off the wall. Smashed it. smashed it that hard, it's came off the wall. Aye, so that, to, in my eyes, the biggest, most avoided fighter in boxing, actually. Do you know what I mean? And, and I don't know. It's only a matter of time before the big names have to fight him as well. So I'm looking forward to him getting his, his shot. And without a doubt, it'll be a world champion. It's a, it's a pleasure to train alongside him. Oh. Just wrap this up now because my shoulder's killing me. For people wondering why I'm holding this camera and it's shaking and I'm not going on a tripod, my suitcase didn't make the plane, my connecting flight coming back from Saudi Arabia and Dubai. So I don't know where my suitcase is. I got told it's going to get delivered today, but we'll wait and see. Um, so one final one from me, Lewis. You're back in training, 2024. Can we expect more big knockouts? Absolutely. I'll, I'll be, what, I'm a 19 No, I would say 21, 21 No by the end of the year with... With what many knockouts have now? 11, 13 knockouts. So the rest of my fights I have this year will all be knockouts. Fact. Bye. Lewis, thank you so much, brother. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, mate. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.